Let's try out this Green's Theorem and uh, see what kind of help it does give to us. So we're going to look at a line integral. And this is written in the differential form. This would represent the component m, 3 times x times y. This would be the component n, x plus y. If we wanted to write it one of the other forms, we would do that. And here's the sort of the punchline, the information. The curve, the C, is the boundary of the y equals zero graph, which is correct, the x-axis. Let's do it here. And y equals one minus x squared, which is a parabola. And if this completely encloses a region, this is not my best phrasing ever, but I wanted it to take a little bit of space. And we were to trace it in the counterclockwise direction. And we were to use a regular line integral. We would call this piecewise smooth. And we would have to calculate R1 of T or set up R1 of T to represent the upper half of this uh, parabola piece. Um, and, well, we could even do that without too much work. If I start at one and go backwards two units, that would be x. And then the y value is one minus whatever the x value is squared. That's what this function says. See, this is already not looking too friendly for us if we have to take the derivative for the velocity vector and substitute x and y into components here. And then we'd need our two of t that returns us from here to here, you know, where x uh, begins at negative one and goes right to units. And oh, y is always zero. Y is always zero. We have to do two sets of line integrals to make this happen. So not something that's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. So Green's theorem is, for lack of a better term, it's our shortcut. It's our shortcut for this. So let's look at it the way Green's theorem could do it. So we have this line integral. And we have this closed region, one and negative one and positive one. This is not a half circle. This is a parabola. This is a parabola. Y equals one minus X squared. Traced that direction counterclockwise. So, this becomes our Green's theorem n with respect to x minus m with respect to y dA. So this is Green's theorem. And we have our region here. So I have to fill this in and I have to fill this in. I've been practicing double integrals a lot um, throughout our last major unit. And let's just slide this up here a little bit here. Um, for this double integration, the x goes from negative one to positive one and y goes from zero to one minus x squared. dy dx. In this problem here, m is equal to three times x times y, and n is equal to x plus y. Well,
n with respect to x is 1 minus m with respect to y. That's right, the y derivative of this would be 3x. This is what I'm about to evaluate. This is a lot less threatening than two line integrals with a lot more algebra steps. It's not about whether I could complete it or not. It's about efficient use of time. And if we're using technology, the more steps, the more rounding um, errors could take place. So let's go for it. Let's integrate. We will have negative 1 to 1. Integral with respect to y is y. Integral with respect to y is 3xy um, dx. And y goes from 0 to 1 minus x squared. That will leave us 1 to 1. Uh, 1 minus x squared minus 3x times 1 minus x squared. That's y, and that's y. And if y is 0, the whole thing is 0. I'm going to maybe look at the terms individually so I could use the power rule. 1 minus x squared minus 3x plus 3x cubed looks like what I get. And this looks like a job for the power rule x minus x to the third divided by 3 minus 3x to the second divided by 2 plus 3x to the fourth divided by 4 evaluated from x is negative 1 to positive 1. All right. And this looks like, I think I'll go slow. 1 minus 1 third minus 3 halves plus 3 fourths. Subtract. Negative 1, we'll make that negative 1. Negative 1 to the third is negative. That makes it positive. This will stay negative. This will stay positive. All right, let's look for some good news here. Negative 3 halves minus another negative 3 halves is 0. 3 fourths minus 3 fourths, more 0. And I get 1 minus a negative 1, which is 2. Negative 1 third minus 1 third minus 2 thirds. I think you're going to find out that you get 4 thirds. That's the quote unquote net work done as you travel around this closed circuit with this vector field acting on that point. Four thirds. Green's theorem is friendlier than if we had done two line integrals. I won't say you're happy, but I could make you less happy if we had to do it the other way.